Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn uh, how to summarize a raster data over a given polygon. So we're going to summarize um, rainfall data um, for Africa using a polygon, country state of polygon. So for each country, we'll have a summary of uh, precipitation for a given year. So this is the precipitation data. Uh, we're going to generate a zonal statistics uh, summary. Uh, for each country here um, so we're going to use um, you know countries for um, continental africa and so zonal statistics one of the you know the common analysis um, in, in standard gis to summarize raster data over a given polygon we're going to use the chirps data so chirps is a climate hazard group um, infrared precipitation with station data um, laid by the university of california santa barbara uh, the climate hazard group um, it's a 30-year data, and um, so we're going to use that in this example. So let's get started. So to start with, uh, let's load country's database. So I'll create a variable here, ROI, feature collection. Uh, so let's import country's database um, and then filter Africa. So I'll use the... Uh, um, US does uh, shape file uh, for um, you know country's boundary which is already on our engine and then I'll filter it by uh, to just simply get um, African countries you can filter it by any continent you want uh, filter and then um, instead of country name I'm just gonna use um, the uh, world region um, field and then I'll just specify the region or the continent here Africa uh, that should give me the country's database uh, for Africa and then I'll just map the ROI here just default color parameter. And let's load the chirps data. And then I'll copy the chirps data from Earth Engine, the image collection. And close the bracket here. And I'm going to filter it because uh, this data set uh, has multiple layers and um, um, a long time series. So I'm going to um, filter by the precipitation layer. And then I'll provide a time step, in this case, just one year data, uh, 23. Uh, that's it. And then next step is, because um, this is an image collection, so I just, I'm going to run a, uh, an aggregate summary for that single year to generate one image instead of multiple image. So I'll create a variable, um, annual chirps. And... I'll use a reducer now let's print uh, the reducer so technically we generated a single aggregate um, image uh, for the total amount of rainfall for that specific year because we're using a reduced sum here. So total rainfall uh, for the whole year for 20, 2023. So let's just print this and see what's going on here. Okay, so uh, region of interest, uh, importing an image collection here. 
and then um, he generating an aggregate star six image. So let's see what we have. So we have uh, one thing here. Let's just actually change the zoom level here. That way we're gonna change the zoom level to our region of uh, interest, our study area. That way it will focus to Africa instead of like the entire globe. I'm gonna change the zoom level maybe eight. This is just, um, you can adjust this depending on your comfort uh, level on, on the zoom. I think it should make it about four. Okay, I think that looks about right. Okay, so now we have imported the country's database here, uh, country's boundary for Africa. So, and then we also printed the image, the aggregate uh, rainfall statics, rainfall image here. And then we have that image here, precipitation. So, yeah, so the next step is actually to um, apply zonal um, summary um, using um, uh, Earth Engine Reducer. Um, uh, I mean, reduce region. So let's uh, generate the um, the reduce region, um, you know, parameter. But before that, uh, we're gonna have to visualize the rainfall data, right? And let's create a visualization parameter like the rainfall image before we generate the zonal stats. Let's just look at the you know, rainfall pattern and what the annual, total annual rainfall looks like, right? Um, so I'll, I'll name it this, that's um, a dictionary that stores my visualization parameter. So this is just, uh, you know, the rainfall values, minimum, maximum. Uh, let's give this about 3,500. And so let's um, create a color palette. And let's store some colors. Uh, I've already just uh, created this color palette, so you don't have to worry about them. You can change this if you want to. Um, so these are already predefined, these color palettes here, just for my uh, precipitation visualization. And let's just uh, display this, um, you know, Let's display this. So let, we're gonna uh, use this annual chirps data, which is an aggregate mean annual rainfall for Africa. And then I'll just clip it. Actually, actually it's not yet Africa, so we have to clip it. It's a global data. Uh, we have to clip it by ROI and let's provide a visualization parameter here which is this one here. Okay, so let's just... Um, execute that. All right, so we have um, rainfall data, uh, annual total rainfall. Um, uh, annual total rainfall, as you can see here. Um, so red and yellow, uh, red is high rainfall and yellow medium, and uh, blue is you know dry um, areas don't have uh, much precipitation. You can see the Sahara, the Sahara Desert, uh, and. Yeah, uh, so let's just uh, generate a zonal statistic. So what we're doing here is just summarize the annual rainfall data for each country here, all right? Based on a given polygon, we're gonna summarize the raster data. We're gonna do zonal stats, zonal um, analysis rather. Okay, so next step is just let's write the function for the zonal statistics or zonal analysis. 
So let's create a variable zona uh, country. So we're gonna use the annual chirps uh, raster data for rainfall data. And we're gonna use reduce regions. And we're gonna open a bracket and a curly bracket to store our parameters. So it, it needs a few uh, parameters to collection. Uh, that's the polygon in this case, we're gonna give ROI. And the reducer is just what kind of aggregation zonal analysis you want. It's like mean, max, or uh, medium. So we're gonna use the mean because it's a mean for, for that specific country or polygon. So we're gonna use the reducer is reducer is ee reducer mean. And then scale, that's just uh, the spatial resolution. Um, so, so this is for, um, you know, the chirps data set is 0 0.05 degree, which is about five, um, you know, f uh, five um, kilometers. So in terms of meter, it's 5,000 meter, right? So that's um, about it. And then let's just um, close our function here. All right, so yeah. Let's export our data, like our summary table, zona statistics, zona um, analysis result to Google Drive. So I write export table to drive and a bracket and a curly bracket. Sorry, that's a square bracket. Oops. Okay. So we're gonna provide the parameters. It needs a collection, which is um, the zona statics table, which is this, and then a description, a description. Um, so I'll say probably chips um, and our rainfall by country, something like this. Okay. Um, I'll create a folder on our engine. Um, say, you can say EE data, something like that. Our engine data folder. And then next to file format is how do you want to export this table? I would want CSV. And the last parameter is, um, you know, this has multiple um, parameters, the table. So I'll just choose only what I need. So um country na is the country name and then mean that's about it and let's just close our function this should export our data let's go ahead and execute that and then we have a task and we have to execute that just execute that Excellent. So once this is done, uh, you'll see that the Earth engine is will stop running in a check mark and you can go ahead and check it on your Google Drive. So it's a it's a data table that has, um, you know, values, uh, total, um, total uh, annual rainfall values for each African country. Um, so it's, this is done already. Country and A. All right, execute again. And then execute, execute. 